adding fractions with unlike denominators. To add fractions with unlike denominators, rewrite the fractions as equivalent fractions with a common denominator, then add the fractions. Using the lowest common denominator is often the fastest method as it requires the least amount of simplification. Make sure your answer is in simplest form. So here we have 4 ninths plus 5 eighths. So here's our addition problem, 4 ninths plus 5 eighths. So the lowest common denominator between 8 and 9 is 72. So you convert these fractions to be with the denominator of 72. Then you just add the numerators together and you get 77 over 72. All right, here's a visual representation of what's going on. To add one half and one third, we can see that one half, this yellow portion, is exactly one half of this whole circle. This blue portion is one third of this circle. These numbers can be represented by these numbers instead, three sixths and two sixths, because three sixths is exactly the same amount of the circle. You can see it's a half of the circle. And this blue portion is still just one third of the circle, but you can call it 2 6. So when you add those together, you can add the numerators 3 and 2, and you get 5 6. So that would be adding in 1, 2, 3 more portions of this circle. So that would be your answer 5 6. Try these. Click the boxes to see the work and the answers. Alright, so we have 2 fifths plus 1 fourth. What is our common denominator here? Well, an easy way to find a common denominator is just to multiply the denominators together. So 20. 20 is a common denominator for 4 and 5. You have to multiply 5 by 4 to get 20. So in this case, we can multiply the numerator by 4 to get 8. Down here, we have to multiply 4 by 5 to get 20. So multiply the numerator by 5 to get 5. So then we have 8 over 20 plus 5 over 20. That's the equivalent. Then you just add the numerators. 8 plus 5 gives you 13. All right, over here, we have 3 over 7 plus 2 over 8. So 7 times 8 is 56. So we have 56 for the denominator up here, 56 here. In order to get 56, you multiply 7 by 8. So if you multiply the top by 8, you get 24. Here, we had to multiply 8 by 7 to get 56. So you just multiply 2 by 7, you get 14. Then, to continue on, you have 24 over 56 plus 14 over 56. You just add 24 and 14 together to get 38. And then you can actually simplify this fraction by making it 19 over 28. We just divided each of these by 2. All right, finally, we have 4 fifths plus 7 eighths. So multiply 5 and 8 together, and we get a common denominator of 40. So in order to get 40 here, we multiplied 8 by 5. So let's multiply the numerator by 5, and we get 35. And we had to multiply 5 times 8 to get 40. So if we multiply the numerator by 8, we get 32. And to see the rest of the work, we have 32 over 40 plus 35 over 40. We add those together to get 67 over 40. What fraction completes the equation using a like denominator when adding 1 third plus 3 sixths? Drag and drop each correct number into the appropriate box. All right, so we have a common denominator here of 6. So in order to turn 1 third into a, a fraction with a denominator of 6, which we can drag this here, what would the numerator have to be? Well, in order to get 6, you would have multiplied 3 by 2. So we have to then multiply the numerator by 2, and we get 2. So 2 6 plus 3 6 gives us 5 6. nine minus four and five eighths. So we don't even have a fraction portion up here, but we're gonna need one. So we have to rewrite this number on top as a mixed number with 
a fraction that has eighths. So nine can be rewritten as eight and eight eighths. Remember eight over eight just means one. So nine can be rewritten as eight plus one and we just choose to write that one as eight over eight. I chose eight as the denominator because that's what it is in the bottom number and that will make our lives easier. So then we just have our four and five eighths and here's our new problem. So we subtract eight minus five, we get three over eight, and we subtract eight minus four, we get four, and that is our answer.